Next, what looks like a hill is a hill. Horse and rider approach, and they go up the hill. Get to the top, and then they go down the hill. Okay, next we're going to have you check your mail. Open the mailbox up, collect your mail, take it to the house. And, and then later come back, put the mail back in it for the next challenge, and then close the box back up. Next challenge is a tarp laying on the ground. Horse and rider must go over the tarp. That's what it sounds like. And in this case, we go ahead and we'll make this caution jump right here. Our next challenge, they call it the T. As you see, we've got some poles laid out here, which is the top of the T. And going off to my right here would be the bottom or foundation of the T. The horse and rider go through these two poles all the way to the end. Then he's going to back his horse up, turning his rear end to go into the vertical part of the T. Like so. And once he's done that, he just walks back out, takes a right, continues on with. Here we have two poles, horse and rider approach. They turn sideways and continue to go. This is, some people call it a side pass. Horses front and back legs will be crossing in that direction. When they get to the end, they come back the other way and therefore the other leg crosses. I, I call them crossovers, but a side pass, I guess is the proper term. And once they finish the side passes, we have a flower box jump or walk over to do. And there are different ways to do the side passes, so, you know, more than one way to skin a cat. This next challenge is a pulley. And we've got a curtain, cowboy and a horse ride up. You grab the rope and you back up. As you back up, as you back up, as you can see, the curtain comes up to the top. Once you get it all the way up, he lowers it back down by coming forward. Kind of like on a sailboat. And then you put the rope back on your rope latch. This particular challenge is really a corral. And we had a miniature horse, Percy, that y'all saw the other day. Sometimes you could put a goat uh, you know, put your chickens in a little container and put chickens in there, whatever you want. And uh, we basically had the rider do a 360 circle completely around, which I won't go completely around, but he went a 360 circle. And I think we had a raincoat on one of the poles he had to pick up. Okay, next we had the tennis ball and cone, or the cone, ball and cone. The rider comes up, either left or right side, whichever they prefer, picks the tennis ball up off the cone, proceeds through this narrow, narrow right here. Now some people say it's too narrow. What you have to do is pull your knees upward so they rest out of the stirrups and rest more on the saddle. This obstacle hula hoop laying flat on the ground. The horse puts both feet, front feet, or could be back, in this case we had them put the front feet, in the hula, and the back feet go completely a 360 around. 
And then had them go finish up in this square. The rider would ride in and basically dismount, throw his hands in the air and say he's finished. Uh, a variation would be the rider rides in, does a 360 spin left, a 360 spin right. And there's other things you can do in this. Okay, this is Paul. I hope you enjoyed your tour of the Cowboy Challenges Horse and Rider Obstacle Course. Dancing Horses Equestrian Center is holding a Cowboy Challenge right now once one time per month. Uh, don't be alarmed at different levels. If you're a beginner, they call it Buckaroo. If you're an advanced, they call it a Wrangler. Um, remember, you can Facebook them, Dancing Horses Equestrian Center, or www.dancinghorsesequestriancenter. And until then, have a great day. Bye.